Hey guys, we got a fun video for today. We're looking at the three-piece web warriors that are currently in the game. That's Ghost Spider, Spider-Man, and Miles, and how they can already handle Doom 2.3. So before you open up your wallet for Scarlet Spider tonight, make sure you check this out, because maybe you don't need to. Maybe you have the necessary power in your current characters uh, to get through Doom 2.3, especially one-shotting the bio boss node, which is insane. Something I have not been able to do no matter how many times I try with the symbiotes, but I'm not going to lie, my team is very big. Let's go ahead and get into it, starting with T4 is an ISO 8. So I will also say right away, my Scarlet, or my Spider Gwen here, she was not that big for this one shot. She was level 75, gear tier 14, didn't have her special T4. She was all obviously a ISO blue uh, Raider, level 3. She has to be to get into Doom 2.3, right? Um, but yeah, so she wasn't that big. And she's 5 red, 5 yellow. That's somewhat reasonable you obviously have to buy an offer or you would have had to buy two offers for her to get that considering she hasn't had her blitz release yet but uh, she's a blitz release character so getting to five yellow is kind of a, a high task but if you only want to invest in three characters from the web warrior teams it will be ghost spider miles and spider-man but anyway let's keep going we got simba spider-man we want everything t4 going on as a skirmisher that goes down to the captain sam in the last wave Spider-Man, he's my big damage over here. We got the special and the passive, and we like him as a raider. If you are doing full web warriors, guys, these T4s and ISO 8s aren't going to line up the same way. Uh, if you're doing full web warriors, you probably want him as a skirmisher. Same reason as about Spider-Man, dealing with that Captain Sam in the last wave. Next, we got Miles up. I only want the special and the passive done. The special does add two turn slow to his... Uh, Okay, special. I like him as a raider. Arguments can be made for both Skirmisher and Striker because of his basic peeling off extra uh, buffs. Uh, and it also does that on the assist, which is why Striker wouldn't be that bad either. And finally, Anti Venom. Everything T4. I have him as a Striker. For this hybrid, you'd probably prefer him to be Healer or Fortifier, uh, but I'm not using the Ions to make that swap. So you see, my team is 50k weaker in this recording because I didn't bring Ghost Spider up just yet. So let's talk about how this is going to work. Basically, we're going to get a bunch of debuffs up on the Red Guardian. We're going to steal it to protect us from getting ability blocked. Then we're going to get an ability block on Doom. And then we're going to control the rescue. And that's the first wave. So here we go. We get a disrupt on the Red Guardian. One of our three web warriors is bound to land a crit here. Looks like it's going to be down to OG Spider-Man. He does. Now, Symbiote Spider-Man's uh, Skirmisher extra ability is going to strip that taunt and defense up. Finally, we're going to steal that Disrupt. That puts an immunity on my Symbiote Spider-Man. And should Venom, or sorry, should Vision choose to try an ability block Symbiote Spider-Man, he wouldn't be able to, and I will still be able to extend the ability block. So here we go. Ghost Spider is now free to use her ability block on Doom. First, we're going to control this rescue, as I said. We don't want her getting barrier or her cleanse up. And now Ghost Spider's up to bat. We get the ability block, which is great. Uh, we're going to be able to extend that with Symbiote Spider-Man. Right here. And now we're going to take out the rescue before she gets to do anything. We're going to use basic from Anti-Venom here. You do not have to use the special just because it's available, guys. Remember, Anti-Venom's uh, striker bonus does a buttload of damage as well, which is great. This is a bit of a misplay. I should have put the blind on Vision, or at least attempts to. He can, of course, dodge it because we're going to spread off Vision after this. Uh, the reason we're spreading off Vision and not off Doom is because, well, you can't spread the ability block anyway, and just all those bleeds that are on Vision is really going to help tear this Doom down and help tear this whole wave down, actually. Now, you do have the option here between Sharon and Kestrel. I go for the Kestrel uh, just because I don't want her around when Captain Sam drops in and starts doing his speed or possibly taunts. Uh, she does open up with basic first, so she's actually like programmed to try and keep her abilities until Captain Sam is around doing his thing. It's pretty sneaky, uh, but it is what it is. So there's another extend on the Doom. We'll steal all that stuff for our Sibba Spider-Man. Kestrel bleeds out, and here's the Cap Sam. Here's the test. Probably shouldn't have special there. Probably tried to use the basic, steal off more of those deflex, uh, but it is what it is. So we use the basic there. We are still going to try and land this ability block despite him having deflex. It gets resisted. 
Uh, so it wasn't even that it was blocked. It was that it was resisted through our offense stuff. This Captain Sam has an insane amount of uh, resist. So you see he also resists the Symbio Spider-Man 6 red, uh, 7 yellow, Skirmisher stun. He's just insane, but he will not resist this Disrupt, which is great. It lasts for two turns. So the uh, the benefit there is not on the ult. Well, I guess he's not going to get offense up from Sharon, which is nice. But on his next turn when he taunts, he's not going to get taunt. He's going to get the energy out. It is what it is. Uh, but he's not going to get the taunt, and then we're going to be fine. So as you see, this team at my power level is perfectly handling this node. Uh, my Anti-Venom dies, it actually helps speed things up, which is kind of funny. Um, and let's talk about that. So we're fine now. Captain Sam's not going to be able to taunt. We get a stun on the bishop. We're going to control the black, but we'll get a blind on him. And then the only thing we need to do is make sure Rescue doesn't cleanse everybody. Not that big a deal. So let's talk about what Scarlet and Punk actually bring to the table. Now, uh, Scarlet brings a bunch of healing and crit damage. So he, if you want to replace just one of the symbiotes on this team, replace Anti-Venom with him. He does a bunch of healing. The crit damage will make a huge difference. Uh, and there you go. And Spider-Punk actually gives you crit chance. If I had to choose, again, I'm going for Scarlet Spider. I believe it's 30%. Crit chance from Spider Punk and then maybe 30% crit damage from Scarlet Spider. But the healing from Scarlet Spider is what's important. And he also doesn't extend. Now, he doesn't extend the ability block, which is kind of why I really like Symbiote Spider Man in this team. So, anyway, how necessary they are they? I don't think they're super necessary if you already have your Symbiote Spider Man and your Anti Venom built for Doom 2.3. Where they are going to shine is, of course, going to be. Uh, War. Uh, they'll probably be able to auto this node a lot faster. You are going to have to kill the Doom. You're not going to be able to ignore him like I did here because I kept being able to extend the ability block. And there's also going to be Grand Arena around the corner. So having full teams ready to go is going to be beneficial. So my, my final diagnosis is if you only care about Doom 2.3 one-shotting the boss node, you do not need the full Web Warriors, though they'll help speed it up. And guys, if you see me on stream and you see me not one-shot, it, it's because on stream there's so much other stuff going on. You lose concentration, you move a bit slower. But anyway, guys, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. And as always, stay happy, healthy, and have fun, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye.